I've heard about some really cool postgraduate psychology projects happening here at the university. So I'm going to go ahead and track down one of the students leading those projects now. What's going on? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. What have you been up to today? Um, today I slept in. <laughs> <laughs> cool. So, so what do you study? What are you a PhD student? What's going on? So I'm a master's student. Yep. And what I'm studying is I'm studying neurocognitive stuff. So we're looking at how people make decisions for themselves, so more selfish decisions, versus when people make decisions on the behalf of others, so purely altruistic decisions. These are costs to ourselves, so we kind of want to understand why we're engaging in these kind of behaviours or making these kinds of decisions. And we can use the brain to figure out why we do these things. So the interesting thing about your research mm -hmm. is the fact that you can, if you understand why people give or yes. the rewards behind that, yes. you might be able to leverage that as yeah. far as increasing their um, decision making around charity. Yes, that's right. Cool. Yeah. Or the decision making about helping others yeah. and yeah. giving to others. Like personally speaking, yeah. why did you want to get into cognitive as opposed to social psychology or clinical psychology? Why cognitive neuroscience? Um, I just think the brain is so fascinating, like we can go right down into the nitty gritty and help, you know, use that, analyze that to help us explain things that we see and we experience in the world. So kind of applying the very, very little tiny things in the brain to the wider world. So practically speaking, mm -hmm. how do your experiments actually run? Yes, so we bring our participants in, we put the electrode cap on. The electrode caps have little electrodes on them which capture the brain activity and it's high temporal resolution so we see how brain activity unfolds over time. So we see across the experiment what's happening in the brain essentially. We can take things like brain waves, like different brain signals and things like that and see what's going on. So you're basically trying to figure out what I'm thinking, right? Yes, yeah, <laughs> read your mind. No, our technology is not that advanced oh, okay, yet. Oh, good, not yet, good. We can't read your mind. <laughs> cool, so basically the, what that cat really essentially does mm -hmm. is it looks at the electrical signals in your yeah. brain and tries to sort of convert them into little lines little brain on the computer. signals, little brain waves. Cool, and from that you make inferences about how people decide, you know, yeah. whether or not to give or not give to yeah. charities. That's cool. Great. You could sort of like um, use your knowledge for good. Yes, in a that's sense. right. Yeah.